My name is Michael Weston. I used to be a spy until... We got a burn notice on you. You're blacklisted. When you're burned, you've got nothing. No cash, no credit, no job history. You're stuck in whatever city they decide to dump you in. Miami. You do whatever work comes your way. You rely on anyone who's still talking to you. A trigger-happy ex-girlfriend. You shoot them. An old friend who used to inform on you to the FBI. You know, spies. Bunch of bitchy little girls. Family, too. Hey, is that your mom again? If you're desperate. Someone needs your help, Michael. Bottom line, until you figure out who burned you, you're not going anywhere. Previously on Burn Notice. Give us the man who killed our operatives. And you and I can have a little chat about your future. You didn't tell her it was Victor, did you? The man has tried to kill you twice. He's the one enemy I know Carla has. I'd like to at least talk to him before I turn him in. You tell Carla someone else went after her operatives and we're friends. I have questions and I have a feeling you can answer them. Well, that's not on the menu. And I'm asking for answers. <laughs> time in any operation is just as everything's coming together. You never know whether you're about to get a pat on the back or a bullet to the back of the head. Of course, there's not much you can do but act like everything's fine. Hello, Michael. Care for a chocolate-covered pomegranate seed? Kava tea? You drove all the way out here to offer me a snack. I'm touched. It's a taste of your former life. Good old days before the burn notice when Michael Weston was just a carefree spy in the deserts of Afghanistan. You know I was like you once, Michael. Lived for the job. Eventually I discovered the job doesn't love you back. You got burned. Yes. I was angry at first. Then I found I didn't miss it. You might find the same thing, Michael. And if I want my life back? Well, that's why I'm here. Anything's possible if you do your job. I'm working on it, you know me. This is serious, Michael. Management's not happy. We'll be in town shortly to make sure everything's resolved. These are not people to be trifled with, Michael, believe me. I'll do my best then. Remember, there are worse things than being blacklisted. Oh, I know. I could be this guy. Sure you weren't followed? Sure as I can be. Unless she's got an invisible helicopter, I think we're fine. Yeah, I wouldn't put it past her. She needs to back off or I'm gonna solve her problem. From what I can tell, she really needs me to solve the problem. Let's see how our guest is doing. Last I checked, he was sleeping. It's kind of tough to sleep when you're cable tied to a chair. How long has he been in there alone? A few hours. You said not to open the door. What's in that? A beam background. At this range, we'll break a few ribs. Nice place. I stayed in a bed and breakfast like this once. Glad you like it. When you're dealing with a trained operative, you have to assume they're as good as you are. If you'd have cut through the restraints, given a few hours alone, chances are he had the same idea. That's enough roughhousing, boys. 
until someone gets hurt. So, now we're cozy, what shall we talk about? Why don't we start with why you tried to blow me up? Why do you make it sound so personal? I was removing operatives from the field. You were cogs in a machine. I had just hit that machine with a baseball bat. Why'd you hit the machine, then? You know, not to be rude, but I'd just as soon skip to the end here. The end? Well, if there's one thing everyone knows about Michael Weston, it's that he wants his job back. And here I sit, your shot at getting that. Now, it doesn't take an intelligence analyst to see how this ends. So, wake me when Carla gets here. Or shoot me now and save everyone some time. You went after Carla's organization. Why? <laughs> Why does it matter? Nothing I say will change the fact that I'm your ticket out. Why is your curiosity more important than my nap? You're out of moves here, Victor. Your only shot now is to trust me. Mm, trust you just like that. You have nothing to lose and everything to gain. I was CIA. My family was stationed with me in Mexico City. An op went bad and I lost my wife and son. The burn notice went out the same day. I was out of my ass. My family was dead. Not even enough money for a bus ticket home. And then you got a call from Carl. Oh, I was more enthusiastic about the opportunity than you were. It was a way back in, a way to get payback. Well, it took me some time, but I found what I was looking for. <laughs> and, the, and the punchline, the really, really funny part is, it was Carla. She had my family killed as part of my recruitment. <laughs> I'm sorry. By that time, I was, a, I was inside. I was an effective operative. And I figured, hey, while I'm here, why not gut the entire organization? Well, I took my shot. And here we are. Carla doesn't know you're here. If you're telling the truth, maybe we can work on this together. I've got a boat docked out at the end of Randall Key. The cabin is booby-trapped with a claymore. Check under the bed. You want proof? That's, that's the best I can do. Trusting him? How many times does someone have to try to kill you before he's crossed the line? We came to an understanding. You know, when I was a kid, I adopted a dog that I found. He had these big eyes, and I used to rub his belly, and I thought we had something special. Right up until he bit a chunk out of me. I'll show you the scar if you'd like. I'll be careful, Sam. I'm coming with you. Give him some air. See what else you can get out of him. Rub his belly if he needs it.
Nice work. Victor should probably teach a class or something. Here. He said to check under the bed. Spam and Captain Crunch. No wonder he's so erratic. Spies are supposed to travel light, with nothing that could identify them. Some do, but most find that staying sane requires staying connected to something that reminds them why they do what they do. Pictures are particularly dangerous to carry, unless the people in them are already dead. Michael is... the boy was only four. I know you could feel this bad for a psychopath on the edge of sanity. People don't get there on their own, Fig. Being under Carla's thumb, it's a strain. You done all right? I never lost everyone I cared about. You and I need to have a little chat. Because you've got a long way to go before I believe all this business. Is this an interrogation? No, that's such an ugly word. I just want you to show me that you are who you say you are. Establish your identity. That's, that's what, number five in the military interrogation manual? <laughs> Look, we don't have to play any games here. Fact is, we're both on the same side, right? Gear down, approach 14, right? Yeah, I believe it is number 14. So how about this? Technique number one, the direct approach. My best friend Mike is out there putting his butt on the line for you, so I want some answers. Now, the folks that you work for, is this a, a government agency, a foreign power? What are we up against? Well, they never gave me a peek at the employee handbook. All I know is they run black ops. Could be multinational, could be work for hire. They break jobs into pieces so no one gets the big picture. Well, that's not a good sign. Why Miami? They're in cities all over. Although, from what I can tell, they may have to shut down in Miami for a while. Mm. I don't like the sound of that. You shouldn't. If Michael doesn't hand me over, Carla's gonna cut her losses. Starting with Michael's family. She's gonna be a busy girl. talking to our unstable friend. This doesn't sound good, Mike. I mean, the big boys are coming into town, and if we don't hand them over... No, we're not handing anyone over. I'm just saying, we could have a war in our hands. Did you cancel my meeting? No, don't. We need to keep everything looking like business as usual. Sam, can you pick up my mom? Take her up to Orlando. Make it look like a day trip. I, I don't want her in town if anything starts happening. Come on. She don't want me to... see. I'll be around. Listen, uh, Madeline, I hate to do this to you again, but uh, we got a situation. Wait, what's wrong? Is Michael okay? He's fine, but is your stuff handy? Because it's time for an emergency trip to Disney World. Disney World? Why in God's name would I want to go to Disney World? Because it's a magical kingdom with lots of witnesses and great security. So if you can just get your bag, we'll go. No, I'm not running for Michael anymore. And I think it's time that all of you stop treating me like a baby and tell me what's going on. Uh, uh, that's a long story. Wonderful. I love stories. Yeah, but see, it's the kind of story that's best told on the way up to Orlando. Do you know they have a hotel up there where the giraffes, they come right up to your balcony? Well, as much as I love giraffes, I'm not uprooting my life again to run from something I don't even know what it's about, Sam. So I'm not going anywhere. Until I get some answers. Uh, oof. Uh, well, it's, it's complicated. 
Ah, uh, well, the sooner you explain, the sooner we'll be off to Cinderella's castle. Victor, I sympathize with your situation, but it's a little hard to trust someone when they've tried to kill you four times. Four, that seems high. Oh, come on, you're counting earlier with a chair. Yes. <sighs> Listen, sport, relax. This will all be over shortly for you and for me. Well, you told Carl to back off so you could find me, yes? Of course you did. They'll still run surveillance, though, and check in. What time is it, 10.30 or so? About that. I've been off the grid long enough for them to get suspicious. They'll have gotten to go ahead to hunt you. Set up a perimeter around your last known location. If there's a major road around here... They'll be waiting at it. Wonderful. Look at it this way. When Carla finds out you hit me, all your questions will be resolved. With a bullet to the head for both of us. Oh, you're gonna kill me yourself. Well, hell yeah, if you're gonna step to the bell, you might as well ring it, huh? Let's get out of here. Wait, 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 you're gonna help me? I get to be one of Michael Weston's clients? One of the desperate people to whom you lend your razor-sharp mind and fists of fury? Lucky you. They were closer than I thought. I'm well, just waiting to see our pretty faces before they moved in. You drive. You don't last long as a spy if you don't trust anyone. If you're looking over your shoulder to see who's coming after you, you can't see where you're going. Sometimes you just have to trust your gut. Flattered. In a firefight on the road, you've got a few options. Without something high caliber, you're not going to be able to penetrate the radiator or the firewall behind it. That leaves two options. The windshield or ricocheting bullets off the ground up through the undercarriage, which is one of the least reinforced parts of a car. For sheer panic, it's hard to beat bullets coming up from the floorboards. chlorine dioxide and some other stuff. Someone's been to the chemical store, I see. I like you. Have I ever told you that? Clever. Clever. 
<laughs> well, I tested well in school, but they say that doesn't mean... You're trying to save the man who tried to kill you. Victor and I have known each other for a long time. You have no idea who you're dealing with. You know, I know it's been a short time, but sometimes you meet someone and you just get that feeling. Enough. It's time you learned actions have consequences. Funny, I was thinking it was time for you to learn the same thing. Do you give the actions have consequences speech? Yeah. Someone who's doled out a lot of those consequences over the years. She'll go after your family. That'll be harder than she thinks. Watch out. There, there. Miami Q convertible perfect camouflage. Yeah, I'm looking for something with a little more horsepower. Here comes the second car. This should get interesting. Madeline, if I knew more, I would tell you. So you don't know who these people are? I mean, you have names. Can't you just look them up? Uh, that's not how it works. If somebody's doing something off the books, they don't hand out Dakota rings and build a mountain fortress. So it's Carla and Victor, and Michael's in trouble with them. So what does it have to do with me? It's all the way to get to Mike. You're somebody he cares about. Yeah. It's leverage. Please, I'm not leverage. You want a beer? No, Madeline. I don't want a beer. Okay. This is serious. That's what I'm trying to say. Mr. Crap. Change of plans. Where's your shotgun? In the bag. Go get it now. This means we're not going to Disney World. They're not taking any chances with the two bad boys in here. They're doing it right, setting up a perimeter and waiting for backup. Well, we should get some backup of our own. Careful with that phone, chances are it's a party line now. Pleasure doing business with you. Say hi to Paco. Bonjour. Hey. Michael, you are not going to believe the deal I got today. I am better hey. at buying guns than I am at buying hey. shoes, and I am really good at buying Fiona shoes. Glenna. What? Remember that drive past the factory where we first met? Do you think we could do something similar where we uh, picnic last month? You'll be making this drive soon? As fast as I can manage. Setting up a spike strip. Oh, this is getting better and better. I'm not getting Michael or Fiona. They probably ditched the phones. Should I call the police? No. That'll make it way too easy for them. Cops take us to the station, they know where we are, and they know that we are unarmed. So what do we do? Just sit here and wait? No, they're going to get more guys. we got to create a distraction and get them out of here. But the thing is, they're all over my car, and there's no way to get your car out of the garage. 
We could borrow Mrs. Reynolds' car. She lives over the back fence, and I have the key in case of emergency. Back fence, huh? That could work. Madeline, think you could find some Christmas lights? When you're outmanned and outgunned, the key is to appear bigger and stronger than you are. Take your enemy's expectations and turn them against them. To make a good-sized fireball without a lot of ordnance, you need a powder with a high surface area to mass ratio. Non-dairy creamer mixed with gunpowder works nicely. I can probably put two or three of them down, get one of their guns on the way out. I'm trying to keep the body count a little bit lower than that. Look, this isn't just about getting out of a parking garage. We might have a shot right now. Now, I've worked with Carla for a long time now. Put together a little insurance policy in case she ever found out what I was up to. Insurance? Yeah, she likes her options for personal errands, making extra cash, payback, that kind of thing. Now, I've got a, a file at a safe house in town. Now, we yeah. get that. We can blackmail our way to safety. Yeah, it's a distant second to dousing her in kerosene and lighting a match, but under the circumstances, it'll have to do. Now, are we ready to use this or what? I think we can go further with this. Let's go. A security perimeter is like a defensive line in football. You've got a couple of options. Punch through the line with brute force. Or you can soften it up with a little misdirection. your plan less and less. Everything's fine as long as we keep them behind us. Fine? Relatively fine. Blackmail. That's the idea? We're doing all this so we can throw some paperwork at Carla? It's the smart play here. We're out guns. We'll get bigger guns. I can't believe what I'm hearing. I saw what she did to you and your family. If the file is so great, then why didn't she use it before? This isn't just about her. I want the guys who call the shots. The file was just in case, enough to force her to back off. This is just about putting a bullet in Carla. It would have been over a long time ago. Still putting a bullet in Carla sounds awful good. When it comes to that, you'll have to get in line. Yeah, about that file. Your safe house. Not so safe. She's good. 
I was three deep with fake safe houses trying to keep this place from her. Sometimes I wish she'd get a hobby. Which room is it in? It's not in a room, it's on the utility pole. A fake utility box isn't a bad hiding place. Nice. People don't touch things labeled high voltage. Repair crews leave them alone too. They're not real, so they never need servicing. Too bad Carla surveillance is parked right in front of it. Two cars, four guys. I think we can handle it. We each shoot one and Rochambeau for the other. Yeah, we don't know it's Carla's guys. It could be ATF, FBI working off of bad intel. They could be completely innocent. Oh, please, no one's completely innocent. Is that what you told yourself when you tried to kill me? Let's go. Thanks for calling OnStar. Yes, I need directions to the closest hardware store. I'd like to avoid major intersections and government buildings. Yes, please. Okay. Party's starting. You ready? Does it matter? Not really. No, they're busy with the team out front. We're probably good to go. Whoa, if I knew that baby was here, I would have gotten us out of there a lot faster. Turn this way? Right down here, please. Why, is this right. a shortcut where we're going? I'm telling you, I think the idea sucks. Just pull over in here. What? Where? Now. Right here? Yes. Why are we pulling Don't over here? Don't ask questions. Just do it, please. Madeline, you saw what happened back there, right? Yeah, I did. You really think the best use of your time is a three-hour drive to Orlando? Yeah, do you have a better idea? Yeah, I do. Okay, fine. Well, let's hear your plan. I take care of myself. And you go save my son. They sent men to me with guns, Sam. God knows what they sent to him. Listen, the one thing women my age can do in Miami is blend in. They could pick me out of 10,000 other 60-something women with bleached blonde hair. I guess I'm done for, huh? Can you find? Maybe. We got a few rally points around Miami we use for emergencies, but come on, Madeline, are you sure? You need you more than I do, Sam. Just go, please. It's gonna kill me. One of the most common cover IDs for a spy is service personnel. Of course, anyone who works in intelligence knows to check service personnel. So a quick phone call to the gas company and you've created the perfect distraction. The active ingredient in pepper spray is the chemical capsaicin. Mixed with some alcohol and oil, pressurize it in a paint sprayer with CO2, and you have a homemade pepper grenade. A few nails in the right places on a car door blocks the lever bar, making it impossible to open leaving you free to do pretty much whatever you want.
can see why Carla wouldn't want this out there. It should send a black ops team to deal with a parking ticket. Pretty much. The higher up stay away from most operations. They have two rules. Don't screw up and don't get caught. They don't get involved unless things go very, very wrong. Well, I'd say this situation qualifies. Carla has a lot of enemies from her spook days, and she's made more since. And then she made the mistake of vouching for you, big guy. This file should be more than enough to earn her a retirement bullet. Carla's entire work history. This is pretty damning stuff. You think you can play this card? When we get back to my boat, I've got the codes and comm lines to go above her head. If she knows I can get to them with this, then she'll back off. Fast. Then we get out of town, maybe to Cuba. Fabulous. Great music. Lots of sexy, unemployed men. Fee, can I talk to you for a sec? I'm not invited to Cuba. They're gonna follow us with everything they have. I need you to find Sam and help him protect my family. <laughs> Can't Sam do it on his own? Well, I know you don't like to hear this. You and Sam are a good team. And do you think I... The car. I expect you to bring it back clean with a full tank. I can do that. Not goodbye, it's just in case. <laughs> and that is to remind you to be careful. Looks like no one's around. We'll scout the perimeter. If it's clear, we'll go in. All this time, you never found out who burned you. Who cares? Name and a file. Behind that, another name. You know how these things start. Someone runs an operation off the books. It's supposed to be a one-time thing, but when it's over, there's power to be had. It takes on a life of its own. It's the organization, not some guy. Why me? Don't tell me my name was picked out of some hat. It was no secret you were good at your job. The machine wanted you, so it took you. Now you're part of it. I'm part of it. But that's what we're trying to destroy here, sport. There you are. I haven't been able to get anybody on the phone for ages. Where's Mikey? Is he here? No. I decided to go on a trip to Cuba with Victor. I go away after Carla with documents. What are we supposed to do? I promised him I'd help you protect the family. Well, I promised Madeline I'd help protect Mike. So I guess the question is, which promise do we keep? enough fuel to make it to the island, as long as we don't have to do too much detouring on the way. You start the engines, I'll cast off.
Carla? Bad day for a cruise, Michael. Very, very bad day. You think so? And here I was hoping you came to see us off. I took the precaution of having the local marina searched when I lost contact with Victor. Seemed like a long shot. I needed to think my two favorite operatives might be making nasty little plans together. Sorry to disappoint. Well, not to spoil the fun. But the boat's wired with C4. Can't have you leaving before we have a chat. Great. Come on board. Let's talk. I'm fine here, thanks. Michael? Management's on the way. They're going to want to know what happened here. Any story I tell them has to begin with Victor's dead body. Afraid of what he might share about your history together? Not important. What's important is that this story needs a hero. It could be you. Kill him or send him out and I'll do it. If you leave me no alternative, there's always the C4. You want to explain blowing up your entire team doesn't speak well for your management skills. Yeah, well, I'd have to explain two dead bodies. You'd have to be one of them. Just end this, Michael. He's a killer. You know that. He's what you made him. Time is up, Michael. Finish it off or I will finish it for you. Look, I know you want to savor the moment, but we got to get out of here. Looks like whoever's in that chopper brought some backup. We gotta talk, big guy. You have to get out there and get on top of this before her body cools. Take the file and tell them when you found me. I turned on Carla. You lured her here, had your team take her out, and then killed me. Killed you? It's over. And the only question is whether you're a traitor who helped me or the ace operative who shot me. Help me out. I'm dead one way or the other. They get me alive and they're going to take me apart. You know it has to be like this. You know what you can. Long 
get those out of my face. Could have used you guys earlier. Ah, uh, this is for the big guy. Intelligence work, your most important tool, more important than any combat technique, any technical skill, is your ability to twist the facts of a situation to your own advantage. The worse the facts are, the more you've got to sell it. Well, two rogue operatives in one day? Lucky us. You're welcome. You know, I think you need to talk to the folks in human resources. You have some staff issues. I agree completely. Tell me, Michael, since you know so much about our problems, what should I do about our new recruit, Michael Weston? Wonderfully effective, terrifically resourceful, truly the best I've ever seen, but he just doesn't seem happy. Maybe it's the threats against his family. Maybe it's the people trying to kill him. Maybe it's the fact that he had to use his people to clean up your mess. Your operatives are dead, and you're not. You created a job opening, Michael, and I have to fill it. Do you want money? You can do that. You want to get out of Miami? Uh... I want you people out of my life! Out of your life? Tell me, Michael, all your old enemies from your spy days, all the people who have scores to settle with Michael Weston, where do you think they've been? Did they just forget about you, or has someone been keeping them at bay? You think you've been under our thumb? You've been under our protection. Think about that. Yeah, I'll be fine, thanks. You really think so? Yeah. Tell you what. We'll leave you alone if that's what you want, and your family too. See how you like it. You want out? There's the door. But hear this. You have no idea what hell will rain down if we stop watching out for you. Take my chances. As a spy working for a government, you're protected. You may work solo, but you have agreements with other spy agencies. Even when you're surrounded by your enemies, that protects you. When your entire career consists of making enemies, there's no greater danger than being totally cut off, alone. When you find yourself out in the cold, all you can do is put your head down and try to survive. 